Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Kadash. Once again, call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Kadash. My name is Tazimak Amath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches the truth and will. All right, as you can see, it says Navy admits they have more UFO videos, but cannot release because they will harm national security. Okay, and it's a clear sign that shows that Esau, they're scared of the heavenly power, man. They're scared of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's power and what he's bringing. Okay, so with that. Hey, Navy is scared to release what's about to come on the whole earth. All right. As you can see right here, this is a, a picture they had took of a, a chariot. Okay. All right. So Esau, they will demonize UFOs, which are the chariots of the Most High Lord. Okay. They will demonize saying it's aliens. They would demonize it and say, oh, it's just aliens. They're just, they're just here to look. But really, it's Yahweh Bashim Yashai's, you know, angels that are upon the whole earth seeing what's going on and preparing for what's about to happen. Okay. So I just want to go into it a little bit and Lord what's lessons edifying. Let's actually start off with the book of Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Because it shows you how a Esau, he has to, he's going to fight Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Salakia, he's going to fight Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and his angels. All right. They show you that. And then, um, what's that movie, man? It just slipped my mind, man. Um, damn, I can't remember. But it's a movie with Will Smith. Okay, the you see Esau's army fights against Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's army, man. All right, and uh, let's jump to the point. Let's see. Mm. Okay, let's we can start right here. We can start off 2nd Ezra 13th chapter. We can start at verse. We can start at verse 5. It says, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. The sea is talking about, um, you know, space. Okay. And it says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. This great this great mountain was talking about the chariot, the fathership that Yahweh shall rides in. Okay. Verse 7. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not, so Ezra's could not see the end of this chariot. And it says, and after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to, to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out his mouth as it has been a blast of fire. And out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight, 
and burn them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid so it's like let me get some water real quick all right so when Ezra saw this vision, he seen Yahushai literally burning up all these nations in the land of Jehoshaphat, right? You can read about that in Joel, the second chapter. Let's get that real quick. Wait, Salakia, Joel, the third chapter, Salakia, right here. All right, Joel, the third chapter, Salakia. It says Joel three and nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay, so they're all going to be in one land. Which is the land of Jehoshaphat. Yahweh Shapat, which is mean the land of judgment. So you go into, let's go back to 2nd Ezra 13. Reading in verse 11. You see Yahweh Shai. He's using his angels, his chariots to, to destroy these heathen, man. Destroy all these heathen in one shot, man. Okay? Because they were all fighting each other. As you read in Joel the third chapter, they're all going to gather to fight each other. But then they're going to stop fighting to fight the Lord. And that's what Esau is warning about, you know? Because it says the navy... Amidst they have more UFO videos but cannot release because they will harm national security. Right. Because Esau has videos of them trying to shoot down the chariots, trying to, you know, destroy them, try to, you know, disarm them. But they just cannot do that, man. Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai's angels and his power, they, they cannot be defeated, man. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17. It says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Oh, no, 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 Salakia. Revelation 12. Salakia, let's get this, Michael. Yeah, my Revelation 12 and 7, Salakia. This is Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. All right. So this is not talking about, you know, Satan fighting against God in heaven. No, this is talking about, you know, in the land you call earth. All right. It says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, which is Satan, which is Esau, Edom. And the dragon fought and his angels. All right. So Esau and his angels, which is, you know, the fighter jets, the B-52s, all that. They're going to fight against Yahweh Bashimi Shai, led by Michael, the archangel and the chariots, man. And guess who's going to win that? The chariots. <laughs> all right. I actually want to go into this post. Because if you read the comments, you just see how dumb people are, man. And majority of Jake. All right. It says, y'all ever watch Tomorrow's War? Shapeshifters. Things are not as they seem. It says, Cap, they have been saying this for four years. No way they kept it under the cover so long. Their own technology. All right. It's going on. It says, history and government are nothing but cow shit. Says the government swear this is, uh, is some huge secret. We all seen a UFO once in our life, like for real though. All right, it says end of the world. Aliens exist. Don't let it distract you. Lies. Nope. BS. Bro, they're not gonna tell you. Be they're not gonna tell us because the w because the way the world reacts. <laughs> All right. So you can see, man, hey, 
Esau is very scared, man. Very, very scared. And these people, they don't know. All right. Let's get this scripture. First Corinthians 14 and 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So if any man want to be not knowing and don't know what's going on. Hey, hey, this let you be not knowing then, man. Let you think it's aliens. Let you think it's that, man. But this is a key sign that's happening. All right. Let's get this real quick. Zechariah 5 and 3. It says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth above the face of the whole earth. All right. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on the side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on the side according to it. All right, so this talking about A. Well, we we should actually start at verse 1. So you get the point. Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, behold, a flying roll. So Zechariah, he seen a chariot. All right, he was looking at what you what you know today as UFOs. And he says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth above the face of the whole earth. So, hey, it's a blessing to us, a curse to the heathen. That's why they don't want to unre unveil What's been going on? What's the videos they have and how powerful Yahweh Shemal Shai's instrument is, man? Because these are weapons of war. One angel could take out the whole earth. One angel, all right, they could take out the whole earth. So this is a curse upon the whole earth for the heathen. But for Jake, which is Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, it's a blessing for us. That's why the scriptures say, um, lift up your eyes for your redemption draw nigh, roughly, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Because as we look up, we see the chariots, we see the angels, you know, we, we are hoping and rejoicing in salvation, wanting the Lord to come back because we know the Lord is coming back in the same thing he left in, which is a chariot. Okay. Which you know today as a UFO. All right. So as the Lord is magnifying his power, he's showing it towards Esau. That's why they want to build a space force. That's why you see a lot of ads. I talk about the Navy. You know, you see a lot of military ads now because, hey, man, hey, rumors of war. Things are sparking up. OK. And that's why you see more of a. How do I say it? Like you see more of a space force. You see, you know, national security want to build better technology because they want to fight against the Lord, man. All right. So let's get this. Um, let's get this real quick. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place. So where are the eyes of the Lord? The angels. The angels are the messengers. When you go into the angel, you mean the messenger. All right. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Lord so the Lord, he beholds the evil and the good with what? The angels. The chariots, man. Because it says Navy admits they they have more UFO videos, but cannot release because they will harm national security. It will harm. It will threaten all the defense. Hey, the Navy got. They're gonna be, they're gonna be totally devastated, seeing what they're about to face up against, man. All right. It will harm national security because they know they cannot defeat something. 
They cannot defeat something that's heavenly. All right. Let's get um right here where Elisha, he was revealing it to his servant. All right. This is 2 Kings 6 and 15. And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them, because Elisha the Lord opened Elisha's eyes to see, okay, we have chariots around us. We have, you know, protection. We have a hedge. All right. We don't have to be afraid. Even though you, you see the enemies come coming at you. Hey, Amen. There's nothing to be afraid of because you have the Lord's angels with you. All right. As reading on, it says, verse 17, and Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh. I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. All right, and it says, And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto, unto Yahweh and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. So, you can see, hey, Elisha prayed to Yahweh Shai to open the young man's eyes that were with that was with Elisha to see there's nothing to be afraid of when the Lord is on your side. Who can be against us? When the Lord is on your side, who can be against us? Nobody. And Esau is going to be utterly destroyed. Utterly destroyed. We have the Lord on our side, man. That's why Esau is afraid. That's why they're scared, because when the Lord is coming back, he's coming to save his people. He's coming to destroy their ass, man. Who is the Lord's people? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We are the ones that are under oppression and in captivity. We need help. We need saving from this oppressor, which is Esau, Edom. Okay? So when the Lord comes back, he's coming back with vengeance, man. He's coming back with fire. Okay. Let's see if I can grab it. Uh, you know, because the Lord... Hey, the Lord is going to send fire. He's going to send fire, man. He's going to destroy. Hey, he's going to destroy many. Right here, man. The water, Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shai. This Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. And his rebuke with flames of fire, for by fire and by his sword will will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Okay. Amen. The Lord is coming to destroy many people, and hey, the chariot is going to be doing a lot of zapping and you know blasting away. Hey, and starting off with these heathens, man. In the land of Jehoshaphat, man, when World War Three is popping off, the Lord's gonna crack them clouds, come and come and destroy their ass, man. Turn them to dust. And nothing, nothing Esau and none of these heathens' weaponry can destroy Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, man. Alright. So with that, Lord Will, this lesson been edifying. I'm gonna give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah Bashim Kakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.